Hi everybody, hi kings, hi queens, hi there, hi, how are you doing, how are you doing, hi, welcome back to Becoming Miss, your number one destination for all pageantry, makeup, fashion and lifestyle advice. Now, we're gonna get down to it, I know I promised you guys juices, tea, like biscuits, like real mini creams, all sorts with a box, I did not lie. I had a reason again why i am putting that video on hold it's because i really want it to be good but you know i just want to take my time with it um, i'm preparing it um so like yeah i am um, so anyway let's just get down to it so today i am looking at miss universe you see the reason why i put this on hold is because something interesting something amazing is happening in our page and stars right so the miss universes are arriving in the usa miss south africa hasn't went down there just wonder why it's not you you know but go be preparing down here probably has those been helping her out but we don't know we don't know we don't know but we are rooting for her so today i'll be counting down top 10 miss uh universe phase at the stage of the competition you know now like things are heated like if you're not in the top 10 right now like it's bad but what i always say patients are patients it's any girls games at any time you can always win like tables change just like that dude you can win like you can win definitely so anyway let's just count down my top 10 um i'm a fair judge i looked at this fairly and i really scrutinized it i'm gonna put everyone exactly where they belong and exactly where i feel like they should be based on their performance based on following their social media pages checking them out what they've been up to and all that you know the kind of agendas that they're pushing out on social media stage presence we've noticed that we're coming in with a lot of page and girls and i think i think that's good there's not a lot of supermodels in my top 10 and i feel like there's always like that thing you know when you go into miss universe and then there's always like supermodels coming in there's always these all these different kinds of women and then you see this pageant girls like thriving like i really like seeing that because i really keep my eye on that because i just there's just a sudden interest because you've just been in the game for so long like girl what can you give us you know technically i want to see that i want to see um I want to see that work i want to see that effort oh and by the way i know you also just like okay so you're gonna be telling us top tens in that you know this is my crown this is my african crown celebrating freedom day you know you know so if you want to know why i was doing this look it's on my tiktok go check it out go check out my insta cool photos up there i got them for you all so you know i always got your back so let's go into the top 10 right <clears throat> straight down to it hey guys yeah right i write i write down because i don't want to be out here like um forgetting you know misplacing so i just wrote it all down just like you know wrote calculate no mm, number 10 no no scratch that out you they right okay you know so like my top 10 starts off a bit rocky you guys might not be like very very happy but like let's just get straight straight down straight down my god miss universe is finally happening like guys i've been waiting i've been waiting but like let me not talk about that let me just get down to this top 10 because that's why you all are here right i know you guys are not here because you like me and because you know i look cute in my south african outfit <sighs> okay so i'm gonna put um australia maria at number 10 and i feel like it's because well I mean, I am not going to judge any technical aspects, but I feel like, I just feel like, number 10, number 10 it is, I'm not going to expand on it, like I said, I feel like it's unfair for me to sit here and just like talk like I know everything. <laughs> People who know me, they know I don't do that. I don't roll like that with other queens. I just say, you know, I just compile my list and I just give it out. Because I just feel like it's fair. It's only fair that we prepare people for what's going to happen. Just like give them an idea of what we see is going to happen. However, I am in no position to sit here and judge these queens because they're working hard. They're slaying. They look beautiful. And you know what? I am not a patient critique. I'm just a lover of patient. And as a lover of patient, I really just want to get this list done. And I just, I just enjoy following up. And following up, you know, you you notice a few things, and then you end up compiling this kind of list of favorites. So these are my personal favorites. I don't know what are yours. Please do comment down below. Let's go down to number nine. 
so i am going to place peru at number nine i know you also just like what you guys are getting mad right now it's heated but well you know like well i mean she was yeah i mean super national uh third runner up yeah i feel that like and i also feel that you know pageant girl pageant roots pageant history and another thing that i just like let's talk about miss super national for like 30 seconds can somebody just explain to me why the multiple runner-ups i don't understand i try to watch it i don't understand if you have like just like uh just like link me a video of miss super national okay moving on to number eight india india you know india castellino she tested positive for covid we are really hoping uh, that she's gonna make it to the stage and fingers crossed for her and you know she's a strong beautiful beautiful fierce i think she actually has the potential to just blow us away anything is possible it's any girl's game it's pageantry after all stage time oh my god it will be real sides of people that you did not know existed and anything is possible it's any girl's game these ladies have been doing charity work they've been doing community work they've been doing service to their country and kudos to all that number seven another pageant girl you know i keep my eyes on these ones daniela from chile so miss chile definitely is on my list as my number seven okay you know what nikorogu i'm not gonna i love her i love her like you you guys like people who've just been following up on my opinions and my faves for uh, miss universe you guys know i love nikorogu and i just feel like she's just like you know she's great she's great she's fantastic another pageant girl keep my eyes on that big ups to you queen before i get into my top five i know that's the sweet part of the cake but i want to show you guys my outfit you know i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing so i'm just gonna turn my video around can we just can we just have a moment for the outfit can we just have a moment for the african queen can we just have a moment can we have a moment please 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 ladies no hold your applause please i insist Am I done goofing off? Yes, yes, I'm done. Yes, 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 I'm done. Uh huh. Number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. At number five, we have Jamaica. So, Jamaica is a supermodel. Uh, not a lot of pageant background, but we just feel like she is bringing it. And I just feel like the hunger, and I just see the commitment, and I just feel like number five. Definitely. And we all know that Jamaica is another um it's a very strong uh, has a very strong pageant uh background very strong roots and we just i just feel like because of that she's just coming in as a very strong contender number four andrea mexico you know i don't know how you guys pronounce it we call it mexico in south africa because the x x y z like x really mexico pronunciations are not the same and our tongues uh, languages everything differs you know like look at me i'm representing i'm representing south africa so yeah uh at number three of course you guys know this top three is obvious i mean um a lot of things might have been different coming down to the top three but like i think everyone just has like a similar kind of top three maybe just like meshed around a bit so at number three i'm gonna put thailand and i just feel like i'm not really gonna dwell on that i'm just gonna put it in top three i just feel like especially when you are in the top three you really don't want to hear a lot of comments and i just feel like if i keep commenting and ah uh, you know it's just really unnecessary because already the pressure is too much on these ladies and the last thing they need is us sitting out here like talking 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 about them like it's not fair it's not fair let's go to number two so okay so here's what's gonna happen between number one and number two right so we have rabia and we have um uh, Natasha Jubert, right? So I feel like Rabia is really showing us what she stands for as Miss Universe. She's bringing it. She has this whole agenda around education, uh, empowerment of women, and I feel like that's great. She's pushing this really great agenda. That's a really cool thing. And then we look at Natasha, very strong contestant, Miss South Africa, of course, um, second runner up, representing South Africa on the Miss Universe stage. And I feel like she is. I really don't 
I'm not sure what agenda she is pushing per se, uh, community work wise, I'm not really certain, but I just saw she launched a fashion line and that is uh, absolutely cool, but I feel like she will be dwelling a bit more on telling us um, her intentions with the crown, her intentions for Miss Universe, her, her intentions for the titles, and I'm really looking forward to that. And I was really curious to know what she will be doing in these final days leading up to um, to the stage day but like you know i'm really proud of her she is doing great fashion designing i mean can this queen can she not is there anything she cannot do a whole queen a whole queen kudos to you natasha but i'm gonna give you number two and i feel like she really needs to work on that you know what we just talked about what is she pushing what is she bringing to the table you know we all know she's multi-talented we all know she won um she has a patient background. We all know she came out fourth. I uh, was a fourth runner at Miss Teen Globe, not Miss Globe, uh, representing South Africa. And we just feel like that's great. I feel like that's absolutely cool. But I just feel like she really just needs to like up in that department. And she's also very well spoken, and I absolutely like that. I feel like it's very important to be able to speak up the question round. Mm. Questions, questions, questions questions we all know every pageant girl knows how it goes down in the que in the in the question segment even even the most well spoken queens well they, they can always mess it up so really hoping for it and i think well that's it for my top 10 and those are my faves so far i still have a couple of dark horses but i feel like at this stage of the competition is just well it's just kind of like oh well you know what like why are you doing it why are you still there you know so thank you all so much for tuning in don't forget to comment like share subscribe you know do the works tell me who is on your list of faves tell me do you agree or do you disagree with my list? Tell me how you feel about what I just said. Tell me how you feel about what uh, Miss South Africa should be bringing to the Miss Universe stage. Uh, just tell me a bit more. Just tell me a little bit. And while we're still discussing Miss uh, South Africa, can we just also talk about uh, Shudu Fazo for just for a little bit? I know you guys got your top 10. You probably left by now. But I really am curious about the talent segment of Miss World, which we're going to discuss in my next episode. Wait, no. In my next video, I'll bring in the teas and the juices that we talked about. So, in the other video, when we're going to be talking about what exactly it is that we think that Shiru Fasa is going to be bringing to the Miss World stage. Because we all know there's a talent segment and we all know our rating queen is an amazing singer. So, what is she bringing to this uh, pageant? And I'm so curious and I really, really want to see what it is. Is it something that she just learned specially for this talent or does she have something under her sleeves? We don't know. Find out soon enough. So, guys, um, without any further ado, without any waste of time let me just sign up queen is out